and we are back fellow knife enthusiasts I'm just Joel here and today we're gonna to be looking at the condor bush slicer yes it's bush slicer is probably one of the most appropriate names especially for this knife so I'm gonna give you the specs real quick so overall this fixed blade is 11.8 inches blade is 6.4 it is made of 1095 high carbon steel. Blade thickness is 0 0.1. Blade style they say is slicer. I, I guess you could say slicer if you wanted to. I think they've kind of got their own type of blade style going on here. The finish on this one is of course Condor's natural hammered type two-tone finish going on here. Handle on this one is Micarta. I would probably go with probably natural micarta or black and gray it's a pretty handy blade to have around especially for uh, camping in the kitchen this is more of like a chef's type of knife very reminiscent of like tops XXX dicer I would say and it has a little uh, kind of like a gut hook piece here they uh, say that that's for hanging it on something I guess a tree branch or side of your grill or whatever you happen to bring with you I guess now the wide slicer blade does make quick work for cooking tasks both big and small I really think that on this one it's very condor but it's not it's got condors finish it's got their name of course it's got their micarta but then you look away from it and it's got a kitchen type of vibe which I would not normally pair with condor I think of them more of a hunting survival type knives this is probably more of a, a tops idea for me or like extreme ratio they have a lot of kitchen knives like the psycho and uh, I want to say the one that mamba I guess is kind of kitchen they also have another one with like a, a tonto cut on it. I can't remember. It's one of their new ones like T4. It, it kind of has that kitchen uh, vibe to it. It also comes with a sheath. And because of how big the knife is, you can imagine how big the sheath has to be. Now this one is gray kydex. And it's got uh, black leather belt loops and beta loops. Definitely several different types of carrier options going on here. You got the uh, regular style with the belt loop here, and then the securing belt loops here, and then I think this is like a hip carry, or I can't remember exactly what it's called right now, but it'll come to me eventually. So the whole thing was designed by Julio Diaz, and of course made in El Salvador, because Condor knives are made in El Salvador. Again, I like what Condor is doing with these sheets. They did it on the Blue Havoc. I did a review of that one if you would like to check it out. They did the same thing here. They have a little lip on the edge of the Kydex sheath. I don't know if you can see it. Right here, well-defined lip there, where it makes it easy for your thumb to push the sheath and then get the knife out of it. I really, really like this design. It just makes it easier for you to disengage the knife from the sheath without you having to look like a complete fool trying to get it out. Because there are some knives out there that make it really difficult for you to take the sheath off. I don't know why. Maybe they just didn't, you know, completely plan out their design idea. And they just wanted to slap a sheath on there and charge an extra $20 because they gave you a sheath. But this is well worth it because they thought about you. They thought about what it was going to be like if you were out there trying to use it. And they're like, oh, we'll put this lip on here, make it easier for you to take out. And you're like, oh, why didn't everyone think of this? I mean, come on. It, it, when you think about it, it's pretty obvious that they should have done something like this on like every sheath known to man. Okay, I personally think it should be on like all of them. Maybe not really small knives like fixed blades. You probably don't need a lip on the little tiny ones, but anything larger with a sheath, yes, just yes. Overall, I have to say that Condor's Bush Slicer is probably one of their widest blade versions or styles I guess one of their bigger models I mean it's not as big as the big leaf like C's favorite but 
it's it's pretty big at like a, almost 12 inches fits really well in the hand too I mean I can definitely see myself you know sl slicing through some uh, meat on the grill there I mean I wouldn't cut it on the grill of course I cut it beside the grill and then slap it on the grill in fact you could probably use this as like a spatula too you put the slab of meat on there and then slap it on the grill or the fire I'll show you how it cuts I'm not uh, well versed in the how C cuts his things I made my cardboard a little too big but I'm gonna see if I can show you so do it at an angle so it fits well in the camera so there you go a little jagged but you know I'm not the there we go okay that one was nicer and then I can show you you know straight down without cutting myself there we go <laughs> ah, obviously I need a little more uh... there we go that was nice I did that one pretty well and then, you know just some really good at just piercing the the cardboard there so yeah comes with a pretty huge box though <laughs> probably a little too big for this knife but that's just the way it goes I also think this one comes with a sticker if I'm not mistaken it might so don't quote me on that though <laughs> I could be wrong so if you enjoyed this review Please follow Atlantic Knife on YouTube. We have tons of five minute reviews and we got some quick minute previews. We also do a, a very uh, interesting knife show called AK Blade every Friday. It's about 18 to 23 minutes if I don't drone on too long. We Hopefully we might be doing a Christmas in July special too. We might do some giveaways. So make sure to check us out on there. We're also on all the social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Parlor for now, but we'll see how that goes. So I am Just Jewel with Atlantic Knife. That was the Condor Bush Slicer. And I am signing off.